Do your scallops turn out more like triangles rather than semicircles? Need some help for your next cosplay? Then this is the tutorial for you. First off, figure out the width and the depth of your scallop. I'm doing it here on some paper, but you can do it directly onto the edge of your pattern piece. Grab any sort of circular item you may have that's lying around that's roughly the right shape. Here I have a fabric glue bottle and a small kitchen dish. You may also wish to use a tool like a compass. Now let's start with some scalloping information with a dash of geometry. Mark the halfway point on your curved item. Then draw half circles touching each other at that point in a row. Drawing to the halfway mark is a standard scallop shape. With the glue bottle, I make relatively small, very dense scallops. However, when I take my small kitchen dish and do the same process, the shape is the same, but each scallop is longer and wider. Keep this in mind when you're working with your pattern, because this will also need to be taken into account for seam allowance. Now let's talk about some modifications. Taking the same small kitchen dish again, rather than doing all the way to the halfway point, I stop a bit sooner, in this case cutting off about a third of the curve. This creates a shorter but not so dense scallops, a soft scallop if you will. Now let's do the opposite way. Let's add a third past the halfway mark. This creates slightly longer but deep scallops, great for super defined scallops that look like proper half semicircles hanging from your hem. Fair warning though, these are probably the hardest to sew. Here is a shot of all three for you to compare. Narrow at the top, wide at the centre and standard at the bottom. Onto the sewing. Cut your outer and lining fabric exactly the same, but obviously mirrored. Here I am working on some shorts. Once lined up, pin at the top and bottom of each scallop at the very least. If you're working with a bigger scallop, then you will need to add more pins equally on each side of the curve. Trust me when I say overpin rather than underpin. Then it's time for sewing. Use a narrow seam allowance for best results. I am using a one centimeter seam allowance, which is three eighths of an inch if you're using the Imperial system. Slowly work your way around the curves, moving the fabric with your hands. When you get to the bottom of the scallop, make sure that your needle is directly in line with the point. Leave your needle in the fabric, lift the presser foot, Pivot your fabric to the direction of the next scallop and lower the presser foot and continue sewing. Although this may seem annoying to do with every scallop, this is the way you will get that crisp finish at every point. Next it's time for cutting. Most importantly, you must cut from each of the bottom point to just before the stitching line. The closer you get, the sharper it will be. Then go ahead and remove a bit of the extra bulk by cutting away some of the seam allowance. This should be no more than half a centimetre from the stitching line for fear of fraying. With everything cut, turn your item right side out. Start with your fingers pushing out the scallops. This will give them the rough shape. Next, grab a long thin blunt tool, like a chopstick. Push that in and angle the chopstick up and down as you run it along the seam line. You may need to change the angle you're working from as well. This will push out the seam and give you a very clean line. Lastly, take it over to your iron and give it a really good press to lock in the scallops. And there you go, perfect scallops for your next cosplay. Let me know in the comments what sort of cosplay tutorials like this you would find helpful. And don't forget that giving this a like and a share with your mates really helps me out. Thanks for watching.